comes up, Psypass lights will extinguish, and there we go, we're live. No phones hit in the making of this. Oh, oh wow, right across the nose of Dan Burkett. Did it, did it actually hit or it just got, they got close. Here we go, Jeff Jones, now under the bridge transition outside zone two. Saw some shimming there from yeah. Jones. Saw the wheel kind of correct. Now around that last inside clip, Dan Burkett, I think Dan knew that he might have had an advantage. By no means is that inactive chase, but I think he was just playing Ooh. really safely there. And speaking <laughs> of safely, almost goes into the tire wall. <laughs> oh, runs over, Dan. <laughs> yeah, relax. He's just so excited for a decision. He had to yep. get there quicker. All right, let's take a look at it again. Yeah, so Jeffo from big, big swing on that initiation. They've only got two moves. Can't do anything too wild there. And then pushing out, outside zone one, very late, similar to what Dan's run was. Lot of angle through two and pushing really into three, but doesn't quite get all the way out to three. And then as they transition to that touch and go, look good. But uh, yeah, I mean, it really depends on how you break down these runs as to where the mistake is gonna be, as, and, that, and that's what's gonna be the judge's decision. Did, was Dan on an incorrect line and Jeff's contact is what actually corrected that back out, but Jeff is pretty shallow here as well. Um, getting into the tire side of things, I mean, it's been interesting uh, really analyzing what's been going on with the Kumos and seeing how they work with side bites. It's a really interesting tread pattern too.